It's caught people by surprise. $700 for the PlayStation 5 Pro. There was a, a meme way back in the day when the PlayStation 3 was announced because uh, they came up on stage and said that'll be $599 US dollars. That was a whole meme and now it's $100 more. So I guess the memes have to keep up with inflation too. <laughs> I was taken aback, Jason, because as you know, like I'm, I'm a, a loyal, avid PlayStation user. It's my console of choice. But, but when you think about the console market as a whole, this is like PlayStation raising prices when the market's kind of going the other direction, right? Like kids today, apologies for the expression, but they, they're doing something different with gaming. Yeah, it's funny. I, I think that uh, if I can offer a few words in PlayStation's defense here, or at least try to understand where they're coming from. So the PS5 Pro, this is not a new console. This is a model of the PlayStation 5 that will essentially play the same games at more uh, vivid graphics, uh, higher refresh rates and better resolutions. Essentially, this thing is meant for tech aficionados, the same types of people who maybe bought an Apple Vision uh, Pro or are, are getting a new phone every single year. So this is not meant for kids or the mass market. This is a model that is meant for people who have money to spend, who, who don't really care about price quite as much and just want the highest end gear. In fact, I, I saw a good stat here. Um, this is from Matt Piscatella, an analyst for Circana, and he said that the PS4 Pro, or sorry, the PS4 Pro, which was a refresh of the PlayStation 4, the last generation console, accounted for 13% of total lifetime PS4 units. So not a significant amount. And I expect this will be a similar, this will play a similar role in the market. Talk to me about a lack of disk drive, Jason. Yeah, man, I, I had a conversation not too long ago uh, at a, a party in L.A. Um, where I was talking to an executive for one of these big console companies. And I was like, huh, it's it's funny that the, the um, market is moving to digital pretty quickly. And he was like, no, Jason, it's already there. Um, a large, a very large percent of customers are buying their games digitally these days or not even buying bothering with discs. Um, you guys are about to talk about GameStop. That yeah. is why they They've been on the dancing for a long time. And so I think Sony sees the disk drive as um, an accessory. And it is. You can buy one as an add-on. Um, they see it as not necessary for the large right. majority of people. And in fact, I would say that the next generation of consoles, it's very likely that they will not come with disk drives and that disk drives will be, will be add-ons for those as well. I have so much nostalgia for a disc. Jason, super quick, uh, the details of pre-ordering and when PS5 Pro actually comes out. Yes, it comes out, I believe, November 6th, and it is $700, and pre-orders they're going to make available, I believe, in the next couple of weeks, I believe in, in two weeks or so.